It's been more than a year since the rebuilt motor has been in the car running, and I finally got the car on a dyno recently. So now we know how much more power E85 cams and ported heads make on a Gen 2 Coyote. The rebuilt motor made more than 30 additional horsepower at the wheels than the car made back in 2017 when it was running on 93 octane and had just headers and the GT350 intake manifold. You can also see that the new motor makes less power before 5000 RPM and considerably more power after that, which is totally fine for me since this motor build was uh, meant to perform best in road course uh, where you spend all your time between 5,000 RPM and 7,500. If we estimate that you are losing 15% of the power through drivetrain loss, that means this car is making about 540, 545 horsepower at the crank, which is a pretty nice improvement over the 435 that it came with from the factory.